Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld 1.0. Welcome back to Microton. We got steel. Yes, we do. We got steel. How about you? And 49 beer. Thank you, Ash Plateau. I appreciate your, uh, your contribution. Now, I named this episode Hat House because I really wanted to be reminded that I can get an architect arm over here. We're going to go ahead and do that as soon as we have six simple prosthetic legs built in Yold Ragomuffin City. Frog Annie's working on them now. It's pretty darn great. We also have three people who are possible recruits over here in Ragamuffin City. We've also finished medical too. We're now better at medicine. Nutty also needs treatment. Holy jeez, Nutty. That's right. We got the we had the we had this basically happen. It was not exactly fun, but it was a good way to test out our new long range missile turret. Still need to build the cruise missile one. And we actually have the stuff to do it now. Well I mean yeah, we might as well do it. I assume that's, yeah, already occupied space. You know, we should put it somewhere over here. They shouldn't be a... The missile turret type should not be in the same place. That actually makes so much sense that it's ridiculous. Let's put it over here. There you go. And then we'll see what a cruise missile can do. Got cloth. We got potatoes. We got invisible power conduits. Heading way out here. To be blunt, I don't remember exactly why. I want to say there was like some kind of mining that could have been done out here. Or maybe it was just for that. We'll even those anymore. Rumo! My good dude, Rumo Bach! Can you please not do that? Can you please instead move that over here? Rumo. Oh, okay. He's getting ready to move it. Well, we got more slate. <laughs> That's great. Still need to develop our... And by R, I mean Dirk's crafting skill a little bit more so we can start making components. I like these flommels, I think. They got soft hairs. You know what? Let's tame the heck out of them. Select them all. Do the tame and dance. That didn't take long. On forbid, move it here, I guess. We're still deep drilling. More steel for us. Rumo. Don't drill at it. Move it. I would appreciate that. Trillium. Kind of a bad mood. Eight without table. Colonist died. Be over colonist death in two days. That'll definitely be helpful. Other than that, life's pretty good over here in Ragamuffin City. Almost too good. We have a decent grouping of what am I trying to say here? Recreation amenities over here in Microton as well. Someone did point out olive trees. I thought they blocked the wind turbines, but maybe they don't. I, I'm blowing my own mind over here. Why is that not blocking that? Cheering up Miss Mask. Well, bless you. Thug! Jeb has brought us a thug. Hello, thug. How you doing? One moth flommel down. Chicken's getting the move on. That's great. So I don't know if they actually give us anything, but, you know, more animals for hauling and releasing is pretty good. What do we got over here? Come on, chicken. Tell me their secrets. Also, harvest some apples. Also. 
Harvest some heal root. Also, harvest some berries. Uranium! Who'd have thunk it? Throw it up! We know what to do. I think the single Devastator is going to be good over here. The dude is piling like almost 20 berries each time. It's fantastic. We already got 800 berries over here. We got 52 days worth of food already. I heard a boop. I didn't catch what it was. Messages. Guess it wasn't important. Anyway, research into composite alloys is being done. They seem to be a lot stronger than the non-composite alloys I was making before. I'm starting to make pentacycling in bigger bulk. Might be a good idea. I mean, they made those hats super strong. I mean, look at look at this marine helmet now. A hundred. It's actually not that great. Did they re-replace the helmets now? I just missed it, or did they realize they accidentally did something that was not supposed to be like a marine helmet like that? I don't know. Let's go here. No, oh, wait. Marine helmets are going to be here. Brutal armor. Composite. Ah, yes, they did. They separated it into its, its own item. That's good, actually, because it's a little super powerful. But still, I want to know how to make composite alloys. Because uh, this armor looks stupid strong. And it'd be nice to have it. I don't get it twisted. Alpha and beta poly are still probably like the strongest things in the game. But the composite alloy is looking pretty great, too. More steel, more harvest, double barrel gun just sitting out here, along with 2,500 uranium. I mean, our stores are pretty full. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we do a special stockpile. A... I don't know what's the difference between a large weapon and a smaller weapon. Let's get a large weapons rack, though. And put it over here. Actually, I think it should be facing the other way. I'm actually going to build two of them. Yeah, give me two large weapon racks. I'm going to requisition a bunch of long swords. From from Dirk, twenty of them, made only out of titanium, only made by Dirk. Only count the allowed ingredients. We apparently have two of them. Two titanium long swords. What? Nobody here should be wielding a titanium longsword, right? No. Where is that coming from, then? We'll probably end up replacing Ironheart's mace with a longsword, then. Probably, um, Dirk will be using one as well. He can, so he should. But this will be a great way for him to boost up his skills to pay them bills. Can we cut up Microscythers? I'm actually not sure we can anymore. Centipedes. Crafters. Flame bots. Ah, the cybernetics are back. Good. We can we can, we can do canines again. Microscythers. Yes. Do them up, please. Thank you. Good. Now we can use these animals again. I don't know why it disappeared earlier, but it did. Trillium still in his funk. He's just smelting metal as fast as he can. 
Re Reynold Reynolds genome sequence. So we would get a human male with brawler, bloodlust, and enduring. Start growing us a Reynold. Farming goods trader from the Dominion of Eberron. Welcome, welcome. Maybe you have some animals we want, or maybe we can sell some animals to you. I don't know. Either way, interesting things. Recreation unfulfilled. We'll go fulfill it, dude. I'm not supposed to be the one stopping you. Tinker's about to tink. Behold, the tinkening. Yeah, I mean, three, three steel each. Not bad. What do you get, like six or seven of them? Yeah, that's about right, actually. So if, even if we did seven, it'd be 350 steel and two components. I think that almost pays for itself. Almost. Not quite. So this is our cruise missile turret. It's a big'un. I don't know if it's a strong'un. It's supposed to be, though. I don't have anything to test it on. I, mean, I guess I could shoot a Tetris slug and see what happens. Yeah, why not? When Dismas wakes up, we can do that. So I'm looking forward to the trades. I'm looking forward to... Uh, to making us a Reynold, I guess. That should be very interesting. And don't forget, Miss Mask still needs her new uh, arm and femur. Has she... No, she's still recovering from Gojuice. Yeah, we're going to wait till that disappears. It seems cruel and unusual to not wait. Dirk, of course, still doing some harvesting. It's pretty good. My you do have a titanium longsword already. Two of them. We should probably have both Rumo and Dirk rocking these. So, go ahead, Rumo, and get one equipped right now. This is connected to uranium as well. It's always uranium. Our life is uranium. That's okay, though. He's like, ooh, a chance to get all the steel in the universe. Sweet. Gotta jump to that. But I tell you what. Build these racks, please. My dude, it's only a little bit of wood. I know you can do it. Traders are still moving in. Okay, build this one now. Storage. Clear all. Long swords. How many can you store? It doesn't say. Alright. Long swords only. Make me some long swords. Wait, why are you picking up steel? Oh, we gotta make a regular long sword and a spear first. There you go. A poor spear of damn. Very well done. Alright, now we're rocking out a steel... Oh, crap. You can't set what material it's made out of, huh? It should be all right. He's making a titanium one now. So that's going to take him a while. And it's a perfect way to hopefully build up his skill. Because, I mean... Yeah, he's halfway towards the next level already. Yeah, this should be good for him. This should be good for Bitcoin. When Dismas wakes up, we're going to shoot a dude. These are okay from what I've seen so far. The Dalma Flamel? They don't like it when strangers touch their spots. Sure, go touch it. Not its spots, just it. I believe we had an incident over here, which is why this currently doesn't have power. Go ahead and reconnect it when we get a chance. Really, I'm rocking out some more. Oh, he's been insulted. That's not good. Can we not have him go places where he gets insulted, please? 
beautiful. The plasteel and component factory is back up and running. I love it. Michelle, are you awake? You are not awake yet. But you're about to be. So when you wake up, go talk with Mark. Go talk with Zlata. We'll do some trades. Damon's working on some art. Dezit's working on making some uh, protein mash. Need more nutrient solution for our people. Composite alloy manufacturing is done. Where the hell do you make it? Doesn't look like there's anything new in here, so let's check out a few places. Smelter. Crushed charcoal. Not seeing composite alloy here. Smithy. Nah. Machining table. Doesn't look like it. Oh, you can make composite armors. Or a composite advanced helmet. Okay, okay. Uh, fabrication bench. Would make sense. Seems like, yeah, there it is. Composite alloy. Dude, the multipliers are made of this. Are big. Good at sharp damage as well. Pretty good, at least. Forming very strong and durable panels. 75 freaking steel. 75 freaking plasteel. A uranium and a component. For one alloy. One alloy. No, the freaking poly's better than that. I mean, I like the fact that it seems strong, but... You get two of this, at least. When you throw these ultra-rare things into it. We have 200 alpha poly, dude. Make us a hundred... There you go. A hundred beta poly. In fact, no, let's do even more than that. Uh, how much beta poly goes into plate armor? 170? Okay, doubling production then. 400 of this, 200 of this. Knock my stuff right up. Tell me about this bandit camp quest. Oh, and the trading. Uh, let's see. We could sell dogs. We could sell hens. Frostmite. Large parasite usually found in cold places. They sweep the cold, barren lands in search of corpses buried in the snow, eating the flesh, to, and leaving a ravaged skeleton in their former place. Fun! Don't want it! Keep it away from me, please. It, it actually seems terrifying. A buttload of rainbow flammels all of a sudden. I mean, they have a lot of animals. Kind of expected. Chasmo Flommel. Cool. We could sell some slurry peeds. Dude, are all the slurry peeds that get born female? Because I think I have like one male slurry peed. And then like 300 females. And he's age zero too, which means... uh you know, he's been doing this for not too long. Could sell eggs. They have 162 maple flamel eggs. If only I liked the creature. Hops. Smoke leaf. They're selling hay on the cheap. Cloudberries, peaches. Nothing, really. Nothing I'm looking for. I mean... The flammels are nice, I guess. Where's this flammel you were talking about? You had some flammels for sale. Chasmo flammels. Were those, were those on our side? And I was just not looking at it right. Could be. Anyway, I'm going to get this Dalma flammel. I'm going to attack a Tetra Slug. Tetra, not Tetris. Don't get it twisted. Head up this way. And let's make it happen. Dirk. Still rocking out some titanium longswords. 
Steam Tech reinforced. Woo. A lot of extra damage per second on that one. Good job, my dude. I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, we got Emily over here. We're learning us some flammels, dudes. Nag's still over here as well. It's kind of a it is what it is type situation. I mean, look how quickly he makes these. It's nuts. One out of nine. Okay. Penicycline production. We can make penicycline in bigger amounts, which means we need to research something else. Now, I'm thinking what we research next is up here. Where is it? Devastator more. There it is. Architect upgrades. Only a tier 5 android can research this tech. Or, you know, if you're like me, all we have to do is cheese it. Hey, abandoned camp quest with some hyperweave. Don't care. Anyone nearby? Is anyone nearby? No? Nay, nay, I see you over there. I see Damon over here. Damon, can you like waltz over here and activate this sub persona core? We're going to research that instantly. And then we're going to go towards I don't even know anymore, man. Long range mineral scanners that you can put on mechanoids. Weird. Uh. Hmm. Productivity 5, productivity repeatable, human brain data extraction. Fun. Starflight sensors. We've gotten a lot of the best technology already. Oh boy, we can make smoke pop belts. Let's go for solar roofs and candy making and flat screen TVs. Cool. That'll be good. Let's go. <coughs> there it goes. There it is. We now know how to make the best types of upgrades. Also, another Steam Tech Enhanced Sword. Skill is 6.77. It's getting there. So now we could go to the Android Parts Workbench, I believe. Yeah, we could straight up make the cybernetics now. Ooh, for the tier 4 and tier 5s. Dude! Architect converters, architect battery packs. Holy cow. We can make some insane stuff. We might need to... Well, we don't actually need to make another tier 4 now that I think about it. Anyway... Get up here and let's tick this guy off. We don't need to make another tier 4. We got Wheatley. Wheatley's a tier 4. He's a genius, too. Bit of a misogynist, which is unfortunate, but... You know, we have... We have another technology. We can remove this from the queue, my dude. Solar roofing. Help! Help! We're okay. There we go. Woo! Solar roofing, flat screen TVs. You know what? Thick stone roofs instead of candy making. Trillium's now down to a minor break risk. He's finally gotten his uh, recreation done. All right. Give him a shoot. Boom. It mad. It didn't attack. Yo, you're supposed to be at a 100% chance to attack when you've been made mad, my dude. There it goes. Okay. Tetra Slug Revenge. It's shot already. Where's the missile? Is the missile already heading up there?
I don't know where the missile is. Did it launch it into the- there it is, there it is, there it is, it's small. There we go. Oh my god, that was a big explosion! And honestly, if he wasn't made out of, like, a butt-ton of hit points, he'd be dead right now. Yeah, that was like 70 hit points. Wow. Yeah, I can understand why it takes so long to be able to shoot. Dismas should be able to solo this as long as he has help. Which means he's not soloing it. Yes, I understand. Please don't laugh at me too hard. We're about to be at seven. He needs to be at eight. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, that's... That's a pretty big boom. Not gonna lie. Need, do need to be careful with how it's used. Uh, prison break. Apparently Ash... Apparently a couple of them are trying to escape twice. Anyway, no biggie. We rain all down here and we're all good. How far away are you, Ray? Man, eh, pretty far, but he'll be he'll be fine. I do need to watch this though. Hold fire until we take care of the prisoners. Cuervo, try not to get dead. Ray Ray, search and destroy. You didn't need that leg. You only thought you needed that leg. One dead, no problem. Depressed Hill. Abrasive, fast learning scrapper. I mean, great stats, great everything. Of course, you were the one that died, but whatever. Other two, I believe we were... No, no, the Spirit Scorpion's really good, too. Bit up there in age, but other than that, it's Ash Mountain who's like, meh. Okay. Not even mad. Don't care that much. Yeah, it takes 50 seconds for the next shot to be available. I'll run away a little bit. It moves incredibly slowly, but... Oh my god, it doesn't even matter if it directly hits anything, because look at the explosion! Like, holy crap! Like, if anyone ever attacks us again... ...and... ...tries to do so... ...without... ...you know, with waiting... ...they're gonna pay for it. They're gonna pay for it hard. Frog any... What are you doing right now? Fabricating Alpha Poly. No, work on these legs. You started this job. I need you to finish it. At least finish this one. Hello, Ignat. Thank you, Jeb, for getting them all ready to go. Nine out of 20. The dude has made it to level seven. Scalable solar roofs are done. Visitors are done. And by that, I mean there's a couple from the Olner Amalgamation. How you doing, guys? We got a psychic foil helmet. Beautiful. Actual beauty. May I say. I'm thinking scalable... Scalable words. Solar roofing is the way to go. And here's why. You go here, you say, put up solar roofing, it's four steel each. You do all this. 2,000 easy use steel. Entire roof is solar. We're the greenest colony on this planet. Too easy. Them frost mites are weird, and I don't like them. Get them out of here. Shadow's working on advanced components. 
Frog Annie. I'm working on more prosthesis. Which is fantastic. I honestly don't care if she does it or if a bot does it, but it needs to get done. That's the important thing. All right, there. Go hang out for a while. Drink some tea. That's going to be it for this episode. If that plays RimWorld 1.0, if you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like if you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe for more because it's going to keep coming and it won't stop coming. And you all know how it goes. Thank you for watching this episode. If that plays RimWorld 1.0, my name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video.